Today in NBA 2K24, I am putting Michael Jordan on every NBA team. So we are here on NBA 2K24 with the Philadelphia 76ers with of course Michael Jordan at the top of the Sixers roster instead of Joel Embiid because I put Jordan on every single NBA team. We'll get to that momentarily. These are the rosters for the upcoming 2024-25 NBA season and without any further ado, let's get into today's video. So like I said before, Jordan is going to be on every single NBA team. We'll go through all the teams momentarily here. So I think teams like the Sixers are going to have a very good shot at this of course the teams that are already good are going to be even better because well they got jordan on the team you know of course they're gonna be better teams like sixers the bucks bulls not so much now for awards purposes the teams that aren't as good so like the bulls the wizards the blazers sorry if you're <laughs> any of those fans it's gonna be another rough season regardless of that so like this jordan on the bulls here of course obviously his team they play for it in real life for the longest prior to the wizards uh they're not gonna be doing so hot he has best chance to win an award though because the team isn't good but you know let's see but that's not really the main goal here because the goal is to hopefully win an nba championship with whatever team ends up winning here that's the point of simulation the Cavs, i think are gonna be pretty good they got well-rounded roster so let's see how that plays out the celtics i don't even have to talk about them imagine you already have tatum brown Porzingis, holiday white horford pritchard cornet hauser as your roster and you put michael jordan on here that's just insane and uh, he's only making two million dollars on the celtics interesting <laughs> regardless of that celtics are definitely gonna be a huge player in today's video i hope uh the clippers probably not so much they'll be okay grizzlies should be kind of mid hawks probably okay heat not so much as well the hornets again uh they're not gonna be doing so hot because you know they're just not good i'm sorry <laughs> Hornets fans. the jazz not so much either the kings i think have a decent chance i mean jordan sabonis fox to rosen i guess solid squad let's see how that plays out i think the knicks should be honestly pretty good the knicks should be good in real life of course so putting jordan on a team they'll be pretty okay lakers kind of mid i think i don't think they're gonna do anything too crazy magic should be okay the mavericks i think have a good chance of winning i mean they were in the nba finals in real life putting jordan on team uh, you know good things should happen the brooklyn nets not so much i think they're kind of mid but it is what it is the nuggets definitely because imagine that duo of jordan and yoke which just actually crazy the indiana pacers okay i think potentially pelicans fine pistons not so much they're still bad raptors aren't good either the rockets have a really well-rounded team but i don't know if they're good enough to win spurs again not so much the suns i think have a chance i mean they got jordan durant and booker on that squad thunder of course i don't even have to mention them because the thunder are just stacked and they're definitely gonna do pretty good tim rolls as well blazers not so much but i think this one uh this michael jordan i should say probably has a good chance of winning an award warriors i think jordan kerr would be a great duo but you know they're not gonna do anything regardless of that let's see how things play out on 2k24 i'm gonna see you guys at the end of the season we'll go through all the stats and the awards and everything regardless i'll see you guys shortly and the season luca is still your mvp 30 10 and 10 for him victor rookie of the year we got the jante murray six man because jordan was starting victor defense player of the year and jalen johnson only has 10 points a game this that's crazy uh no jordan's making all nba first team genuinely shocked by that we got a couple on the second team the hornets the suns and the brooklyn nets third team we only end up with two the heat and the clippers honestly i'm very shocked by this but let's check out all the stats are uh, we doing up with two jordans on the first team all defensive first team the heat and the bucks second team features the hornets and the pelicans again i'm shocked by that let's share the league leaders first before we get into the records and everything like that uh, so they were definitely up there in points though looking at that campaign uh the one on the hornets 28 points five rebounds five assists the nets michael jordan had 28 five and five the one on the lakers 27 six and five we got let's see the jazz 27 five and five so you know a lot of them doing pretty good there 26 27 points about five rebounds five assists or so between all of them like the one pistons 26 5 and 6 so yeah they're very well rounded throughout all of them in the entire league so yeah that's pretty good for all of them right there also looks like a lot of them did very well in the steals department too the one the heat 2.2 the nuggets 2.2 we got the hornets 2.1 you know though ours around like two steals per game which is very very good i'll shot quite leonard breaking up all the jordans right there so regardless of that i'm they all did very very well this season let's check out these standings though because that's going to be more of a determinant of how things played out for the entire season and let's do that right now let's check the nba standings in the east conference the Pacers were actually the first seed so I was wrong 56 and 26 on the year then the Sixers the Knicks the Bucks the Cavs 
Bucks, the Heat, Magic did pretty good. The Celtics were only 43 and 39. What in the world? They should have done so much better than that. The Raptors actually did pretty good in this. The Hawks, honestly, I thought would have done a little bit better than 36 and 46. But regardless, that's how things play out in the Eastern Conference. Of course, still the Pistons, the Wizards, the Nets. Yeah, they're uh, they're not the best. Out in the Western Conference, Dallas was first, 48 and 34. And then we got Denver, Minnesota, the Pelicans, the Thunder. The Warriors actually did pretty good. The Grizzlies and the Suns did okay. Kings, eh. But the Lakers, honestly, I could have thought easily done 37-45. They definitely could have done better. But regardless of that, let's see how things play out in the play-in. And the Bulls have been eliminated, obviously. Uh, let's see. So it's going to be the Suns and the Grizzlies making it out of the play-in for the West. The Celtics do make it out of the East. I hope you have the 7th seed and the Magic are the 8th seed. Let's see how things play out. I mean, again, there's still so many teams here that could potentially win. Let's see what happens here in the NBA playoffs between all these squads. Of course, Mount Michael Jordan is on every single NBA team. So anything is really possible. We've got Dallas and Minnesota out there in the Western Conference. The Knicks and the Bucks. Also, the Celtics lost to the Sixers in the first round. That's crazy. The Knicks have moved on to the Eastern Conference Finals, which makes sense because, again, that Knicks squad is uh, pretty stacked, in my opinion. The Bucks are a pretty good, solid team as well. Plus, you got Jordan on the team in every single one of them. Mavericks, it makes sense. Timberwolves also makes sense as well. They're all good teams. And it's going to be Luka Doncic as your Western Conference Finals MVP. Jordan for the Eastern Conference Finals MVP on the New York Knicks 28 8 and 6 right there so we got the Mavs and the Knicks in the NBA finals let's check the playoff statistics though because I'm kind of curious how things play out there as well Lucas leading the entire league in playoff points per game 35 11 and 13 that's crazy Brunson is doing very well too the first Jordan is on the Bucks, but he's been eliminated the next one 24 6 and 5 so he's doing pretty good regardless of that let's see how things play out for the rest of the NBA playoffs and that being the NBA finals the Mavs and the Knicks I do want to get some game action we're going to get some game action so let's see how things play out on 2k24 the Knicks do end up winning in game one 143 to 138 the Jordan on the Knicks had 24 and 6 but Julius Randle just dropped 34 14 and 6 Brunson at 32 Luka on the Mavs 42 7 and 9 Kyrie had 37 and Jordan had 21 5 and 11 that's crazy and they still lost after all those crazy performances Knicks also win game two only by one point that's crazy Brunson at 36 Jordan 30 Bridges had 20 in this one they win by one over Luke and Kyrie both dropping 27. Jordan had a great game by the way. Only four turnovers though. That's not the best. But regardless, it is now 2-0. Knicks series lead. The Mavs come back in game number three. Led by Michael Jordan. 34-4 eight and six he had six steals in that game 32 10 and nine and four for Luka Doncic they both absolutely cooked in this one and eight turnovers for Jordan on the Knicks that's crazy 115 to 96 victory let's see what happens here in game number four the Knicks do win in game number four despite 39 13 and 13 from Luka 27 from Kyrie and 20 from Michael Jordan the Mavericks keep losing these games but it's not by like significant margins they keep barely losing Jordan only at 14 for the Knicks in this one but they still win so it's now a three to one season series i said i want to get some game action we're gonna get some game action here in game number five of the nba playoffs let's see how things play out and uh let's see if the knicks end up winning in the nba finals 27 seconds left to go in this ball game 122 to 119 following that huge three by clay thompson michael jordan has the ball for the new york knicks what's he gonna do attempt the mid-range jumper and he misses as a crucial miss daniel gafford's gonna get the rebound jordan actually follows out for the knicks putting mikhail bridges back into this ball game you know, that actually would have been very good for the Knicks if Gafford was the one shooting the free throw. But it looks like it's going to be probably Luka Doncic here attempting the free throws. And yes, he is currently fouled by Jalen Brunson. 17 seconds left to go between these two squads. Luka, two clutch free throws. Can he hit the first one? And yes, he does. 123-119 ball game. Can he hit the second one as well? And yes, he does. 124-119. The Knicks are out of timeout. So they need a quick three in this ball game to just hopefully have a chance at winning right here Julius Randle has the ball out to OG in the corner they gotta shoot it and he's going to make it though wow OG hits a huge three eight seconds left to go who are they gonna inbound the ball to it's gonna be Luka Doncic once again but it's gonna be Marshall now shooting the free throws followed by Mitchell Robinson we got seven seconds left to go 
in tonight's ball game. Marshall at the free throw line. He's going to hit the first one, making it 125 to 122. Can he hit the second one? And yes, he does. Now 126 to 122. I mean, this only hit the same process, though. Hit a huge three. But I don't know if they're going to, they don't have enough time, obviously. They're just kind of wasting the clock. I don't know what Randall's doing there. I ran, oh, that was such a <laughs> crazy play. 126, 122. I'll see you guys in game six. Game six of the NBA Finals, 111, 106 is the score with the New York Knicks currently atop the Dallas Mavericks at the moment. Kyrie Irving has the ball with two minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Let's see how things play out for the rest of this ball game. It is a 3 2 series. Again, the Mavericks have to win this ball game as Luka Doncic hits that mid range jumper, making it now a three point ball game. He's also got 30 points tonight. If the Mavericks win, we'll be going to game number seven. If the Knicks win, well, they win the NBA Finals. We got timeout. Hopefully, we've got a good rest of a ball game on our hands. Last game was very, very good. Let's see how things play out for the rest of this ball game as well. OG will be inbounding it for the New York Knicks out to Josh Hart. Jalen Brunson now has the ball for the New York Knicks, and he's going to hit that huge three-pointer right there, making it 114 to 108. That is not what the Dallas Mavericks like to see. Both Jordans are out there on the court, so hopefully they have some big impact on the rest of this ball game. Luka Doncic inside, potential foul there, but no call. Luka Doncic does get the bucket to go, making it back to a four-point ball game with now under two minutes left to go. Josh Hart, I would actually really hope he wins six minutes of the year this year. I love Josh Hart; he's a great player. Jalen Brunson has the ball currently guarded by Luka Doncic at the moment. We got an ISO on the court. Jalen Brunson inside; he's gonna get Luka on the pump fake, hitting that layup to go. 20 points for Jalen Brunson. He's got 13 in the fourth. 116 to 110. Luka has the ball trying to get inside over Brunson. Back out to Jordan at the top of the key. Back to Luka Doncic. Let's see what happens. Luka trying to set a screen here is Gaffer, but they're going to kick it over to Jordan in the left corner. Jordan inside over OG and he misses the lap, but he will be going to the free throw line for two free throws. 20 points for Jordan tonight. He's going to hit the first one, making him now have 21 points the second free throw is good 116 to 112 following the two free throws by jordan brunson will be bringing the ball up for the new york knicks currently guarded by luka Doncic. still i think they're trying to get jordan open for the screen yeah because i saw randall set that screen in the back there brunson still at the top of the key randall will be setting the screen on luka Doncic. brunson inside over daniel gafford he misses though randall on the offensive glass and one luka with the foul 118 to 112 that is a huge and costly play for the Dallas Mavericks. Randall at the free throw line and he gets the free throw to go 119 to 112. That actually might be the dagger right there. Crazy. Luka will be bringing the ball up. I mean, the Dallas needs a huge three and quickly. So hopefully they get the job done. Luka inside. Brunson still on him and he's going to hit that jumper right there. I should say a little floater. I should say 119 to 114. Luka's been good on the offensive end, but he's been kind of a disaster on the defensive end the rest of this ball game. Brunson has the ball for the New York Knicks once again trying to get past Luka Doncic. Luka does a good job at first but Gaff is going to save him though with the huge rejection. Jordan has the ball out to Kyrie Irving in the corner and he misses the three-pointer. Wow that could have been a costly play for the New York Knicks. Kyrie was open but he does miss it though. Randall will be going to the free throw line on the other end. He does make the first one making now 120 to 114. Can Julius Randall hit the second free throw and yes he does seven point differential we got timeout can the dallas mavericks come back in this ball game down seven with just under 34 seconds left to go i mean i don't know but anything is possible anything's possible kyrie irving has the ball at the top of the key but they need to hit some quick threes kyrie irving for three he does miss that one though josh hart with the rebound they're not even going to attempt to foul that's actually crazy no foul attempt so they're just going to let randall go inside there blocked by gafford that's a huge block by daniel gafford can look at lucas has to hit this three-pointer if they have a chance in this ball game he misses it though that's going to be it because they're missing all their shots 121 114 i doubt the new york knicks go for a shot here with five seconds left to go and that's going to be conclusion of this game the new york knicks have defeated the dallas mavericks in six games in the nba finals meaning that after i put mike jordan on every nba team the new york knicks are the team coming out on top and winning the nba finals so if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to like subscribe for future content if you want me to do this with any other players i mean any 
other players feel free to let me know down in the comment section below i'd be happy to do it i think it's a fun and interesting concept and i enjoy making these kinds of videos so i'll see you all in the next video and hope you all have a great day i'll see you all next time and hopefully your day is good as the new york knicks right there as they won the nba championship